Good morning. Today we are going to begin our uh, discussion on semester two core course in English. So let us first discuss the syllabus and exam pattern before uh, going into the detailed discussion of the syllabus. So as you can see on the screen, uh, you will have two papers in this semester. Uh, they are called core course 111 and core course 112. You will have CC 111 and CC 112. Now the title of the first paper is the history of English literature from 1558 to 1625. So this will be the uh, title of your first paper, History of English Literature from 1558 to 1625. And there is another paper, paper number 112. Uh, which is again history paper. So after the Elizabethan age, there comes uh, the age of Milton. So it is again titled as history of English literature from 1625 to 1660. So we will write down the title here, history of English literature. From 1625 to 1660. Right. Now both these papers are divided into uh, four units. So the very first unit is the introduction to the uh, historical and literary features of this period which we call Elizabethan age. So the period in English literature from 1558 to 1625 is known as the Elizabethan age. So it comprises uh, many kinds of development in the society as well as in literature. And we will look at uh, the contribution of Shakespeare, Philip Sidney, Edmund Spencer, uh, Francis Bacon, University Wits, as well as we will also look at the development of sonnet form uh, while discussing the history uh, of this period. So for the second unit, you have three poems. Uh, the prescribed text is The Winged World, which is edited by David Green, but you can uh, access these poems from any of the uh, sites by searching on Google. A Poetry Foundation is the site where you can find any poems that you uh, wish to download or you wish to read. So these three poems uh, can be uh, acquired from such free sites. For the unit three, we have a play by William Shakespeare that is As You Like It. Uh, you can access the text of this play online as well as uh, you can buy the copy of the textbook. So we will discuss this play uh, act wise and line wise, scene wise, uh, when we will begin it. But we will first discuss the uh, historical aspects of the period. Then we will move on to the text because it will consume uh, more time. We will need to discuss uh, more of the text later on after getting thoroughly uh, introduced with the uh, literary features of this period that is 1558 to 1625 which we call Elizabethan age and why do we call it Elizabethan age because uh, it is called Elizabethan age because during this period Queen Elizabeth was there on the throne and so it is known as the age of Elizabeth or Elizabethan age or age of Shakespeare can also be called because Shakespeare is the uh, greatest writer of this period. And for the fourth unit, you have acquaintances. You are uh, all aware about acquaintances. You will be uh, you will be given certain titles. 
uh, for which you will have to uh, acquire or gather the information like uh, who is the writer of this. Uh, for example, the first title in acquaintance is the shepherd's calendar or there is Hamlet. So what will be your uh, acquaintance? Then you will learn who has written this play Hamlet, in which year it was published, how many revised versions of this play have been published. So you will have to uh, go through the uh, details like the name of the author, the year of publication, the zona it represents or the period in which uh, this work has appeared. So you have uh, all in all four units for paper number 111, which comprises the history of Elizabethan age. Then there are three poems. First is sonnet number 116 by Shakespeare. Then sonnet number one by uh, Philip Sidney from his collection of sonnets that is Estrophel and Stella. Third is Spencer sonnet number 75, which is again from his collection Amorati. For unit three, you have a play as you like it by William Shakespeare. And for the unit number four, uh, you have acquaintances as you already know. So this is what, what we have for paper number 111. Paper style for both the papers uh, remain the same. The history book that is prescribed uh, for your syllabus is History of English Literature by Edward Albert, which is published by Oxford University Press. Uh, this can be uh, acquired from any common bookstore around you or I have also posted uh, the same in your teams. So uh, you can go to your team and uh, search for the files because I have uploaded them uh, in your teams. If you would go to your team and just search in the file tab, you will find Edward Albert history of English literature there. Uh, so this is the whole book that is available online. You can uh, read this in your mobile phone as well. I have uh, sent it to your teams for your reference. And I have also sent you the uh, syllabus and paper style of uh, this semester, right? So you can go through it when you get free. Now again, let us move back to the uh, syllabus. So the second paper that you have in your syllabus is paper number 112, which is again the history of English literature from 1625 to 1660. Now this age is called the age of Milton or Puritan age. Right, so the period from 1558 to 1625 is the Elizabethan age, and from 1625 to 1660 is the age of Milton, or you can also say Puritan uh, age. Now, why these ages are named this way? Who is Milton? What is the meaning of the word Puritan? We will understand when we will, when we will uh, discuss the historical aspects of this age from the textbook that is prescribed here. Uh, we will also understand what is metaphysical poetry. We will look at Milton uh, as a poet and we will also discuss uh, his poem Lycidas, which is an elegy. So you are familiar with the form of elegy because in your semester one you had uh, different forms of poetry, one of which was elegy. So we will discuss Lycidas in detail for your unit two. In your third unit, you have three poems again, which is again from an anthology, but you can acquire these poems from any uh, common site where these poems are posted. So you can, uh, if you are not aware of the site, I, let me mention poetryfoundation.org is the site from where you can uh, uh, get the details or text of any poem that you wish to achieve. So we have three poems in this uh, paper. There are Go and Catch a Falling Star by John Donne, who was a metaphysical poet. Then there is Virtue by George Herbert and To His Coy Mistress by Andrew Marvel. All these three are categorized into the metaphysical poetry and uh, they belong to the age of Milton. For the fourth unit, again, you have acquaintances. Acquaintances you know very well what you have to do is you have to uh, write the name of the author, the year of the publication, the form of the work and the age or period to which the work belongs or the zoner that 
the work belongs to. So you have overall total uh, eight units, right? And two papers, two texts that you will have to understand. First one is As You Like It by Shakespeare. And second is Lycidas, an elegy, a poem uh, by John Milton. You will have to also understand the historical and literary features of Elizabethan as well as uh, Puritan age or the age of Milton. Right. So we will first begin with the historical aspects in both these papers. Now let us uh, look at the paper style that is prescribed for you. The paper style is same for both the papers. So you will have uh, one question. You will have to write one question from each unit. You will be given two options out of the two. You have you have you are supposed to write down any one. So the question one is from unit one and it comprises 14 marks. Same way question two is from unit two. Question three will be from unit three. Question four will be from unit four. That is your acquaintances and question five will be a merger of uh, all these units and there will be MCQs based on all the four units that are, that are prescribed in your syllabus. So that will this will comprise 70 marks total and 30 marks for internal. Now let us discuss when we will uh, take the uh, lecture. So if you have closely looked at your uh, timetable in your teams, you will realize that for uh, Monday, uh, Tuesday and Wednesday and Thursday, we have paper number 111 and all the remaining days uh, uh, we are going to deal with paper number 112. Right. So keep this timetable in mind and uh, go through the textbook that I have shared with you, the PDF of the History of English Literature by Edward Albert. I have shared it with you in your teams. Go to your team, go to the files section, go to your team, go to the files section. Right. You will find your team if I main English. Go to the files section and uh, find out this PDF that is Edward Albert History of English Literature. Uh, go through this because we will begin our understanding of historical features of Elizabethan age from this uh, textbook. Right? So overall, uh, you have two papers in this semester, paper number 111 and paper number 112 and the compulsory English paper that you have common for all the years. Right? So uh, this is all for today. And uh, we will meet again in the next period. Uh, thank you so much.